So in this video, we'll look at a particular example of an exact differential equation to go through the steps shown in the last video on how to find a solution. So here we consider the following example. X of dy dx plus three X plus Y is equal to zero. And if you recall from the last video, we said that an ODE was exact if uh, in this form, the functions a x y and b x y satisfy this condition. So the first thing we have to do then is put this differential equation into this form. And we can do that by multiplying both sides by dx. So this remains zero. We end up with three x plus y dx is equal to zero. So here, the factor multiplying the dx gives us axy. In this case, it will be 3x plus y. And whatever is multiplying the dy gives us bxy. In this case, it'll be x. So we first have to check that this condition is satisfied to make sure that this is an exact differential equation. And we're going to check this. If you take the partial derivative of A with respect to Y, you get one. If you take the partial derivative of B with respect to X, you also get one. So the condition to have an exact differential equation is satisfied. So then we can move on to finding what our function u x y is. We will do that. by starting off from this equation, which tells us that u is the integral of axy, which is three x plus y in this example, integrated over x plus some function of y. This then gives us Performing the integration gets us this result. And then we're going to use our other condition. Partial derivative of u with respect to y has to equal bxy. Taking the partial, partial derivative of this u that we found with respect to y, this term goes away, this y goes away, and we're left with x plus the derivative of our integration constant with respect to y. And we said this had to be equal to bxy. And if you look at what bxy was, this was just equal to x. And we already have the x over here. So this means that the derivative of dfy with respect to y has to equal to zero. In other words, our integration constant is in fact just a constant, which we'll call c. So what we're left with then is this function uxy is equal to this.
and uh, we'll call this constant c1 actually c1 and we said for uh, the total differential of this to disappear this that means that this has to be equal to some constant so what we're left with then is 3x squared over 2 plus xy is equal to a constant. When you combine these two, whether you take this to be 0 or not, doesn't matter. You're always left with an unknown constant. And then when you isolate for y, which you can do in this case, you're left that y is equal to the following. So this is our solution to this differential equation. The constant C would be, uh, the value of C would be uh, given if we were given a condition Y of at some initial value of X was equal to some particular value of Y. Then we will be able to find the particular solution to this differential equation. Since we're not given this condition, we're left with a general solution with some unknown constant C. Now, exact differential equations uh, rarely occur in practice. They're rarely encounter in practice, but uh, there is a method to turn a differential equation into an exact differential equation. And we'll see how to do that in the next video.